Today's Bible study is titled They Added Nothing to Paul's Gospel. Previously, Paul has noted in developing his case for grace and associated history leading up to and including the Acts 15 Jerusalem Council, that he went up by revelation, the Lord instructed him to go and amp, reveal and that he communicated unto them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles, but privately to them which were of reputation. The them of Galatians 2 verse 2 is the twelve kingdom apostles and kingdom church leadership James the Lord's half-brother in Jerusalem. The gospel which I preach is the mystery grace gospel, example, the the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, Romans 16 verse 25, that was previously kept secret until the risen ascended Lord revealed it to Paul. With that understood, we continue. But of these who seem to be somewhat, whatsoever they were, it mocketh no matter to me, God accepteth no man's person for they who seem to be somewhat in conference added nothing to me, Galatians 2 verse 6. Let's dig into this. Speaking of the Twelve and Jerusalem Kingdom Church leadership, Paul says, but of these who seem to be somewhat. This would seem odd if it were not framed in Paul's revealing to them what Christ had revealed to him, example, the mystery that had been hidden until revealed to Paul. Apparently, when the fidelity of Paul's grace gospels challenged by the circumcision in Antioch, example, was not the law or circumcision or something else required for salvation and acceptance by God, some might have suggested that the twelve resolved this matter. But that was not why Paul went up to Jerusalem as he did so, by revelation, direct from Christ. And as far as Paul was concerned, the twelve and others had no say in the question that was posed regarding the terms of Paul's gospel and he shows this, saying of the twelve, whatsoever they were, it mocketh no matter to me, God accepteth no man's person. In other words, he did not feel that the twelve and others had any special authority in the matter regardless of Luke's account in Acts 15 which some believe indicates they might have thought they did. And to reinforce this, Paul continues, for they who seem to be somewhat in conference added nothing to me. So, Paul presented to the twelve and others, the gospel that Christ instructed him to preach in private conference. And after hearing what Paul presented, the twelve and others realized its authenticity as new revelation direct from the Lord regarding a new dispensation of the grace of God, Ephesians 3 verse 2. And, as a result, they did not attempt to add any aspects of their kingdom gospel law, circumcision, etc. to Paul's mystery grace gospel. When the student of the Word thoroughly investigates the Acts 15 Jerusalem Council, the realization of just what happened will be obvious. And such realization is a game-changer because it shows the things that differ between the kingdom gospel preached by Peter and the grace gospel preached by Paul and impacts how and why we rightly divide the scripture. And that is just the beginning. Believer, understand the importance of the Acts 15 Jerusalem Council and allow the rightly divided understanding to impact the doctrine that you believe. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.